Welcome to the Bay Now, the national chairman of the Progressive People's Party, uh, Ni Alote Brew. Hammond has accused both the NDC and the Opposition New Patriotic Party of conspiring with the Electoral Commission to hike this year's presidential filing fees. According to the PPP's national chairman, the two parties are gradually succeeding in turning the country into a two-party state. The Electoral Commission in 2012 charged presidential nominees 10,000 CDs while while that for parliamentary nominees was 1,000. The filing fees for presidential aspirants saw a 500% increment for 2012. This decision, however, received a wide condemnation from some smaller political parties, including the Progressive People's Party. The party subsequently filed a suit at the Accra High Court to challenge the appropriateness of the EC to take the filing fees, which the High Court dismissed. I do have in the studio now Alotebru Hammond, a national chairman of the PPP. It's great to have you here, sir. So th this must come as a very hard blow for you. Yes. Uh, and the NDC would say perhaps when you get used to this pain, you will talk less. To suggest that uh, this country is being pushed towards a two-party state, is it not too far-fetched? Well, let me first uh, pay tribute to uh, our first running mate, Madam Eva Loko. Mm -hmm. Uh, whose laws uh, we are still mourning. This is the may third day. May uh, thank you. Uh, this is the third day. That's why I'm, 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 I can I'm back. Uh, and she was uh, a great uh, person that uh, we ought to eulogize. Uh, and uh, we believe that uh, uh, her soul is now resting peacefully yes. uh, in the bosom of the Lord. Uh, to go to uh, the EC, yes, uh, we were informed of the hike in fees uh, when we met at the IPAC uh, on September uh, 9th. Uh, that was the first time uh, we were told of the nomination uh, opening and closing date of the 29th and the 30th. At that IPAC meeting, we objected to that astronomical hike. hike. Many of us, except for the uh, NDC and the MPP, uh, that were present, but uh, for that particular announcement, remain silent. Mm -hmm. uh, that gave some of us an impression that there was some collusion uh, between the two and the EC so that they could eliminate uh, parties that they considered uh, to be in their way. Mm -hmm. uh, we did not uh, believe that it will be extended to the point where now they will disqualify uh, practically so everybody. Th you think that this so really boils down to what it, it is, the it reason is, it was is a combination for the disqualification? Of the that uh, is telling us that there is a premeditated effort to get rid of all the other parties that uh, are in contention. But of what use with, will it be to get rid of all the others and leave the two? Or what well, use at the, all? The advantage is that uh, for the two, they will always get the... Uh, uh, all the votes? The, the, well, they'll get the votes and the uh, 12, 15 percent that will require the money to be uh, uh, released uh, back to them. If, if you have multiple number of people on the ballot, the uh, chances that uh, you might not you get, get money the 12% uh, uh, But uh, mostly the small parties lose their money. Precisely. Precisely. So and you think and that this it is, is also to guarantee victory for them. Because it, you know, the, the, the voting pattern in the last six elections has been NDC, MPP, so mm -hmm. they want to maintain mm -hmm. uh, the status but, quo. But your flag bearer has been meeting with the EC officials. Uh, what, what has been the outcome of well, those? Well, the outcome has only made public yet. Mm -hmm. uh, and and when, when, when we do make it public, we will we'll, we'll address what it. Do you, what do you <coughs> foresee to be the possible outcome from well, this? The, you think the, the EC is going to stick to its guns? Well, we, we don't know until uh, you know, they, they release uh, mm -hmm. the uh, communique uh, arising from, uh, from the meeting. What we had gone to seek was uh, the Revelation uh, 9 of uh, CI 94 that uh, gave all nominees uh, the opportunity to amend and alter any uh, condition that was considered to be mm -hmm. invalid, yeah. which we believe has not been given to any of the uh, nominees. Uh, and if we did, if, if PPP were given that opportunity to alter uh, and, and, and amend, we would definitely be able to uh, satisfy the condition within 
the uh, uh, talking uh, about uh, amending altering or amending from dr Ndium's press conference he he appears to have the position that the mistake came from the party you as a national chairman you should be ashamed that such simple administrative errors led to the disqualification of your flag bearer well i don't want to accept that the party has made a mistake uh, the Asida uh, gentleman, we know, and we do know that he did not sign in two places. Uh, four of the nomination forms that uh, we submitted, the quadruplets, were all uh, 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 taken uh, by the EC. None was given to us, as has been in the past. Uh, in the past, one copy after uh, signing was given, given to, to you. What was given then to you us, get the and we to stayed go there. Mm. And we stayed there while they went through uh, what they had to discover any anomalies. And if they did, we were informed why we were there to, uh, to cure the uh, uh, defect, and, and we were supposed to do it within the, uh, the window open so, to us. So you, you're actually not, convinced not, by this it that not, it did not the EC this had taken an entrenched position already before I, you brought I want to believe that, because this is, this, is, this is a departure from the practice that had gone on in 2012 and in 2000, and it for all of the nominees, all of our quadruplet copies were taken right, up uh, by, the, uh, by the East. I'm afraid we're grateful for your time, though, but uh, that's all time. Well, I was, uh, <laughs> well, well, that's much. kind of short of time, man. To, 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 make, to make our case. Chairman. <laughs> you have made your case clearly in our time. Uh, we're grateful that you, you came by. My name is Stephen Enti. That's how we draw the curtains for News at 10. For more news, you can log on to 3news.com.